don't let your creativity be stifled because you are afraid what people are going to think when they see it. Worry about the functionality first. That's the most important part. You can worry about if it's pretty later on. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Monkey Mike back again. This is Monkey Wrench, and thanks for joining me today. Miata Month has been off to a rough start. I, I had totally intended on filming a lot more and giving you guys a lot more content, but pretty much everything I've been trying to do lately has been failing. So far, I've done okay with the porting. Nothing bad happened there. And I do have a little video where I'm gonna talk with you guys about how I do my porting on my heads and stuff like that. The Corbeau seat is in. I was gonna film it, but realistically, all I did was take the seat rails out and drilled it right to the floor. It's nothing spectacular, nothing that I really seem worthy of needing an entire video. The old one sucked. I was going to put the hydro in, and that's actually what today's video is about. So I was bored. I really just wanted to do something with my hands. I wanted to fab something up. And I thought about it, and I know a dude who makes what's called a Fodro. And I actually had this idea before I met him, so it was kind of ironic. So I saw the little buttons that they put on the emergency brakes right here, right? And they make it to where this goes in. And I actually drilled mine out and I made it to where I could put like a little grenade type pin in there. So it was just like a cotter pin and I'd, you know, push it in there. And it would stay in and I could just, you know, yank on it. And the way that the Miata's calipers are set up is it actually actuates the rear caliper, which is perfect because it acts just like a hydro, but it's mechanically operated. And everything, you know, it just comes up right here. And you pull this thing up and, and then, you know, it locks into place, right? So I wanted to create something with a bit more leverage. Now, not that I'm trying to, to crap on his product, but I really don't like the angle that he had his, the, the lever at. I didn't like the placement of it. And I thought to myself, well, he charges like 125 bucks or something like that, plus whatever shipping. And no offense, but man, I could probably make that thing for free with random crap that I have laying around the garage. Which is why this giant pile of bolts and nuts and things are out and the welder, which I said I wasn't gonna use again. <laughs> Let's out too. You know, I just got bored. What I did is I took this and I cut it down. I measured it to where it had just enough sticking out. This is gonna sit in here like that. It sits almost flush with the little actuator. So I'll weld it onto the end like that. And then as we screw the bolt in, the bolt will push the actuator rod, pin, thing, whatever for the lever. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can tell I've had a rough week, right? I'm not even really, t you know, speaking intelligently. I don't really care to edit this in a way that makes me sound super smart. All I'm doing is making, you know, a deal that's going to actuate that. And then this here will actually go on. And you can see I've just, I've done some now. And I, I've tack welded it a few times, figuring out the angles I want. I found a way to bend it. I'm going to wrap it and make it look all pretty. At the end of the video, I think you'll like the the end product um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited because I can already see it in my head and I know how this is going to go and it's really perfect too because when you look at the diameter of the washer it's just perfect where I'm going to need to weld it. You know this is what you could do with cheap stuff and a, and a cheap welder and these things you can make at home yourself. That's basically a lot of what I'm trying to show you guys is that Yes, I have a TIG welder and I could do all sorts of real pretty stuff and I could go buy some round stock from the metal shop and I'm bored, I want to make something, I want to make something that's going to work and I have all sorts of random crap laying around. Don't let your creativity be stifled. I can always make a very nice version of this later. This could just be a prototype, proof of concept. Don't let your creativity be stifled because you are afraid what people are going to think when they see it. Worry about the functionality first. That's the most important part. You can worry about if it's pretty later on. Okay, that, that's my general rule of how I go about life. This part is going to go down in here like this. I've got the angle pretty much all set. I do need to beat the crap out of that a bit more. Like I said, it doesn't always need to be pretty. So there, right? And this will actually hold enough to test it, right? So essentially it goes like this. That'll go on right there. But even at a fully pulled up position, it really doesn't come back that much. All right, so the general concept 
has been made. I'm happy, it looks good, it functions well. We got our bolt threads in, threads out. Uh, next is gonna be drill at least two holes on the top there to support it and to hold it in place. We'll see if we can get three of them. I'd say he, he used three of them, so there may be a reason why maybe two wasn't quite enough, uh, but we do just need to hold in place. It just needs to snug up, so it'll push down. Uh, yeah. All right, pardon my mess here, because, you know, we got lots of stuff going on. Uh, I did forget to tell you guys about how rigid the seat actually is. You can see the entire car moves, and I am really happy with it. Uh, I do like the fact that it's much, much lower, because now we're actually sitting inside the seat cavity. I should be able to get my head down underneath where the cage is going to be. We do have a new top coming, if I haven't already told you that. So I'm going to build the cage around that. This is the finished product. I got a little ahead of myself. The only issue I have when I work is, especially filming, I just work faster and better if I, you know, put my nose down and do it versus sit there and try to film everything. As you can see, once it gets fully turned in, and I just turned in the rest of the way, it's only about a turn and a half out from being fully depressed. And here it is. You know, it works good. So my hand would be here, reach over to shift, right? So it's in where third would be right now because I would never, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to need the hydro when it's in, you know, or or whatever we want to call this. I don't want to call it the Fodro because that's taking homeboy's name. Anyway, so there's first, there's second, we go up into third, hydro, you know, steer, 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 hydro, steer, 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 this, steer, steer, hydro. Realistically, it works real well. I welded a nut up here at the top and then I just ground it down to where it was nice and round. So that way, you know, it, it doesn't hurt or anything if I grab it. I'm going to have gloves on when I do this. Um, it also made it to where I can put something neat up here. Even though after seeing how close that is, I mean, I could turn it a little bit. But there's, I don't know, I may make just like a neat little top cap thing. I may just put a bolt there and fill it. I, I really haven't decided yet. Uh, but kind of like this still has a little thing I could, I could actually put, you know, because that's for whatever beer would be in there, whatever flavor, right? We could find something neat, but it's a bit overkill. So I think we're just, we're good where we are right now. Um, you know, even in, you know, fourth, fourth, it's not in the way. I could get over to third, grab hydro, hydro, great, you know, if you're needing to go from here, 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 you see, and it's, it's, and here's the thing too, is that's, that's full tilt, right? And you see how close that is? And that's really my issue I had with his, um, and I'm not sure where he has his steering wheel in relativity to how his, his deal is, but his goes straight up, okay? So there's no curve. It would have been up here like this, right? Versus mine is tilted forward, just bent right here a little bit. And that little bit of bend is what really allows the actuation to occur because I can get full leverage without you know smacking my my elbow on anything granted his doesn't even have this here i did get some pretty neat so this is for a bat and my idea is a it grips really well b it works well in the sun if you've never used a bat in the sun you know that they work well um, and then i have tennis grip and i actually i got two of, and i have a couple ideas about how i'm going to wrap it just because i would like it to be wrapped you can see what right there bam see and now it still works. Uh, so that's the idea is we still have a functional emergency brake so we can lock it up when we, you know, because it's, it's still a street car, street car, you know what I'm saying. Um, I just used some Allen head keys, three of these, and welded the crap out of them on here. <laughs> They're on very strong. And then I painted it, and um, it, it's ugly as sin. It is not pretty at all. But I don't really care. Functional is really the name of the game here. This is now what it looks like. So I wrapped it in some of the tennis tape, which I'm actually really surprised how it turned out. Uh, I like it. I never really put a sticker or decal on anything before, and I don't know what to do about this thing. I was thinking about sticker bombing the whole thing, to be honest, but I don't think I care that much. Uh, you know, the, the point of the car is not to be a show car. It's meant to be functional. And... Uh, this, this this feels really good. You know, we'll see how it does in the sun, sitting in the car and stuff like that. Um, but it's really really grippy, and so it's 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 actually kind of nice. Like, and it feels good. The fact that it only goes this far. I mean, that's it. I'm I'm really ripping on that thing. So pretty stoked. The top actually looks really neat. Yep, you get the idea. So there it is. Next mod coming soon. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.